All right, welcome to the show. Today we have the pleasure of speaking with Sandy Edwards, who we met, I guess it's a few weeks ago at uh, the Kitchener Waterloo Holistic Fair, is that right? That's correct. And we, we connected right away. We just, I don't know what the energies was across the, the aisle there. Uh, just, it, it, that was the reason we were there. Kate and I, we were just, we were just discussing this before. And that's the reason we were there on that event. We were there to connect with people like yourself and also Natasha, who we will speak with later on. So uh, from meeting you there, we know that you are into reflexology. How did you get into that? Tell us, how, how did that journey start for you? Well, thanks guys for the uh, the opportunity today. Uh, it, it is a bit of a, a process. I'll, I'll tell you that, as I say, uh, the journey has been long, but I didn't think I'd get into reflexology. But it started with watching my parents' health decline. And uh, as they went on the pharmaceutical train, so did the elements of issues to start to, uh, as I say, metastasize in yeah. terms of um, what was actually happening with their bodies. Um, little did I know at that point in time, because I was kind of brought up in the in the kind of era that, you know, you listen to your doctor and they give you some pills and you carry on. Mm -hmm. um, but what I really found what was interesting in that journey is that the amount of money that they needed to maintain their health in the pharmaceutical train was now draining their retirement funds. Oh, wow. And I thought, I do not want to see that happen at all. And that's nothing that's ever discussed about in terms of when you go to retire. Do you have enough money to retire? But they never ask you, do you have enough money to sustain your health? So, and then I came up with, okay, holistically, what could I do? My mom was a nurse. My dad was a firefighter. And in 20, uh, 2012, I found out about reflexology and then uh, I took a course and I was blown away at just the results that can be achieved through this natural healing um, modality. And that started my journey on this process of being a reflexologist. I love that. Just that exposure to one course and then that changed everything. So cool. It's just a ripple effect, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, you know, the other the other point is I went to pick up some pills for my dad at the time and, and I went to the pharmacy and an older gentleman came in and they had all their pills lined up. And all of a sudden he said, I, I can't have this one, this one, this one, and this one. I don't have the money for it. Oh my God. Wow. And I went, wow, that is just that in my, like, that was the aha moment. Like what is going on here for me? That's, that would be heartbreaking to hear because it's like, not only is this guy not getting a solution that's helping him get better. He can't even afford to to buy the medication that's sustaining his life. Um, what tell us a little bit about reflexology? Sure. How does it benefit? I mean, even with your parents, how did you see an improvement? Well, unfortunately, um, my mother passed away in 2006 uh, with an uh, abdominal aneurysm, and my father uh, passed away with diabetes. So I never really got to have the approach of reflexology on either of them, mm -hmm. um, which was unfortunate because, I mean, I think I could have turned my father around in terms of his diabetes uh, prior to his passing. Um, but reflexology is a non-invasive natural healing art. And what that means really, when you have all those little big words in there is that um, we go into the body, we look at the body as a whole, and we go into the body and we find out where there are issues, as we call in the tissues. So there could be some stagnation of energy, stagnation of movement, which is the rigidity of the foot, meaning that there's rigidity uh, in two different places, meaning rigidity in the body and rigidity in the mind. So um, and then what we do, because each person is unique into what is going on with them in their health is that we approach the, the, the view on the plantar side of the foot, as well as the dorsal side, which is the top side. So plantar's bottom, dorsal's top. We look at both um, elements to see exactly what may be transpiring in the body. But uh, again, the initial part of reflexology is, is again, hitting reflex points, making movement in the body and pushing the crap that's sitting in your body out. So if, if I can say that. <laughs> you sure can. 
That's so cool. But, and go ahead. But I'm, I'm just saying that, you know, we touch reflex points, but we also touch body systems. So respiratory, you know, um, uh, endocrine system, everything, everything we're touching the whole it's not just one thing it's the whole you know, everything's right. connected right exactly the exactly. foot has the the body map within it as well absolutely absolutely yeah. just so and talking about body map so i know you guys saw this when i was in on the show but we have a foot if you can see that oops i got to move over a little bit there more. you go yeah you can, can kind of see a little bit more and a little bit more and just what it looks like these are the body systems and we're working on it as you can see it's quite intricate mm -hmm. so i mean um a lot of people when they see my feet they're like what is that <laughs> <laughs> drew us in right away <laughs> yeah exactly that's yeah. what drew me to come and check out your table and what's what sandy was showing is she has this model of a foot because through through the podcast you're not going to be able to see this but mm -hmm. She has a model of a foot and it has written on it all the different systems in the body. And is is that the point of that is like those are the areas that you touch that's able to connect with those parts? Yeah, it just gives a, an idea for the for the individual to know where those points are, because some people will think that, you know, it's a bunch of hokey pokey, uh, <laughs> you know, woo woo kind of ness, you know, reflexology is just a nice massage on your feet, but it's actually more than just that, you know. It is more like we're getting, we're delving into the uh, body systems. We're hitting the points. Um, there are two different maps, or actually there's a various various maps of body systems, but they, they, they mirror exactly what's actually happening in your body. So what you see in your hands, what you see in your feet, mirror what we see in the body. So if you touch your hands together, um, where you have your two thumbs together, then that is the spine. So that is your midpoint of your body. And a lot of people don't look at that that way, but your um, fifth finger, your pinky finger or your pinky on your toe, that's the lateral side. And that goes all the way from, you know, uh, your shoulders down right to your, your heels. So a lot of people don't really know that until you start having a conversation with them. Very interesting. Yeah. I love that. Anything just any energy work related or the meridians is so fascinating. Yes, absolutely. And again, uh, you know, TCM comes into it as well, traditional Chinese medicine. Now, a lot of reflexologists may or may not, um, may, may progress to that level, but there are some different issues with regards to TCM coming in being wow. meridians um, and then, you know, points of... Um, uh, on those meridians that are associated with, say, spleen, liver, stomach, gallbladder, uh, and bladder, you know, so and 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 how they relate. If there's stagnation in any of those areas, you want to clear that out. So it again, it's another level of learning um, through you know anatomy and physiology, and then you're now into the Eastern uh, medicine as well. Mm -hmm. So when you're actually going through that process of feeling those areas on someone's foot say is it just because it's something feels a little different how do you know where to hone in on is it just like stagnation or is it even emotional how do you know the difference well when you come across you can you know if you if you feel your hand and sometimes you know you'll you'll come across i call them bits and pieces so you'll feel like a little lump here and there and then it goes into a valley and then another lump you kind of say, okay, that's, that's, uh, you know, not feeling, it's feeling different than what you had had felt before. Um, so those to me are, are stagnation of energy and there's, a, you know, a compilation of something that's happening. Mm -hmm. So um, what we do is we just kind of go over it, but then I go over it again and I say, okay, is this related to something? Mm -hmm. And this is where I actually develop my own uh, technique called um, the cosmos connection, which is connection of spirit mindfulness of self so what i do is once i get over to that kind of raised element of of tissue i will connect with it and i'll get right in and sometimes my clients will say oh that's a little tender or ow you know kind of thing and i'll say okay i'm on the right spot mm -hmm. and then i'll ask okay what is this connected to because there are um, connections with regards to of course the mind and the spirit and each toe has a specific element that it is 
related to, whether it be TCM or whether it be related to uh, an emotion. So if I can expand on that a little, um, the big toe has to do with thoughts and opinions. Um, and the second toe has to do with emotions, your feelings. Um, and the third toe has to do with what you're doing, creativeness, um, intuitiveness. Um, the fourth toe is um, has to do with relationships. And if you think about it, we put a ring on that fourth, fourth finger. So relationships can, can be to yourself mm -hmm. or relationships can be to family or work relationships. Um, and then the fifth toe, which is very important, is also, and, and the same with it, it runs the same with your hands, is to do with security and safety, your home base, the foundation, who you are. Um, and then when you look at a right foot or a left foot, and you look at where the constitution or, or the, the concentration of, of, a, of a bump or, or you know, the tissues are, are condensed together, you say, okay, what is that on? Is it on the left side or is that on the right side? So if it's on the left side, that has to do with kind of current or future outlook and mm -hmm. a feminine kind of um, uh, element. And then if you look on to the right side, it has to do with the past, things you haven't dealt with, and also a male influence of some kind or a male uh, yeah, yeah. element. Yeah. It's fascinating. It's fascinating. Yeah. Like I can, I'm thinking of so many people this could be helpful for, but what's a time where someone could recognize for themselves that, you know what, I should really go see someone who does reflexology. You know, anytime that you're dealing with things and if I can, you know, kind of give you a story that just happened in September. I mean, yes. I went on, uh, I went on a, a little vacation with a bunch of people, 10 people. We were on a biking uh, tour um, and uh, I had a number of people that were dealing with some issues. Um, so what happened was one was dealing with acid reflux. I was dealing, I did a technique with regards to reducing that. Um, mm -hmm. I had one person that had something with um, uh, elbow. They had an elbow issue. Um, and so I worked on that and released the pain on that one. I also had one that had severe sciatica when we were away and uh, I worked on them daily, mind you, but um, they got up, they were stiff as heck and they were in a lot of pain, discomfort, didn't know whether they could go on the ride. And I went and I worked on them for half an hour. And within that time, they had no pain. Fantastic. That's amazing. Yeah. Now, utilizing, of course, my technique of Cosmos, but also some techniques that I've learned through um, Europe. I connect with uh, instructors from Portugal, um, Israel, uh, the UK, or yes, the UK, sorry, and the US. So I, I have a variety of people that I connect with uh, worldwide to get more information because Canada is not that progressive in reflexology and you need to go outside and think outside the box in order to be the best you can be for your client. Very good. I think I saw your, you are actually located in Waterloo here in Canada, yes. in Ontario. Yeah. Yes, Waterloo, I I... Kitchener, Waterloo. I, I do Cambridge, Guelph and uh, surrounding areas, but I've also had somebody that's come from Chatham um, to see me. Okay. And, uh, is it every break that you actually do virtual appointments I, as well? I do do virtual, actually. Okay. And a lot of people don't understand that. But I can give you a little a little uh, a blurb on that. I, I At first, I thought, oh, no, you know, virtual is not going to do it. You know, um, I was certainly not a lover of it. But anyway, I decided that I would have a colleague work on me. And, of course, she was in the area. And she said, okay, lay on your, you know, your tr treatment pad. I'm going to I'm going to do the the uh, session. Now we disconnected, we connected at first and then we disconnected. And what I mean by disconnected was we weren't talking on the phone. Mm -hmm. And then um, I did feel, I could feel what they were working on. I could feel the digestive system, everything that they were working on. And the interesting part about this was um, as they were working on me, I jumped off of my treatment table, like just jumped because I was startled. And then I started to laugh. I thought, what the heck just happened here? 
And so anyway, and then I thought, okay, everything seems okay, you know, and I go back in and I kind of, you know, I'm relaxed and all that stuff. So then after we connect and uh, all of a sudden I said, I said to her, what happened during the session? I said, all of a sudden I, I jumped out of, you know, out of the session, like, you know, startled. And she goes, oh, do you know what? She said, my water bottle worked and scared the crap right out of me. And she said, <laughs> And I said, well, I felt it. And um, and then we took before pictures and after pictures, and you can see the difference. And she didn't touch Maybe. one iota. So cool. It's very similar along the lines of how we work too, because it's all connection with, we're all connected. So it's just intention of connecting with someone, healing from a distance, basically. Mm -hmm. People with Reiki do the same thing. Absolutely. Yeah. So Absolutely. Yeah, I've done it with actually uh, another practitioner where they were the, um, uh, their mother was uh, in Croatia, uh, sorry, Czech, in Czech, and uh, they were having some issues and she became my surrogate in energy. Because hmm. I said, let's see if we can feel it. Oh, she felt it. And wow. she was not happy with the whole process. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't like the pain I'm feeling. And I went, well, we're going to clear that up. And we did. Mm -hmm. And then we checked in with uh, her mother and her mother was like, hey, I'm having a great day. <laughs> That's fantastic. That is so cool. Amazing. If someone, okay, so if someone was interested in connecting with you, what's the best way that they can do that? My website is best because they can kind of see what I offer and then they can kind of get a gist of what I look like, you know, what's happening um, and, and go there. Or they can catch me too at my email and I do have a phone number on there as well. But uh, yeah, it's, it's it's best, you know, to do some research, mm -hmm. check me out. Um, but I'm more than happy to have a, a conversation with them as well, because uh, I mean, I'm, I'm not, I, I like to be progressive with somebody, but I also don't want to be saying, okay, hey, come to me. I'm the best you've got. It's not that it's, I've got, I've got techniques that I think I could change your life. Amazing. We will put your links in the show notes as well to be able to connect with Sandy so you can see her website, see what she does and email so you can contact her as well. Um, did you do something else you were going to say, Amanda? Uh, I think when we first started talking, you mentioned, I don't know if this is going to come out of my head very well, but we'll see where it goes. You mentioned you were in like the HR field before this. Oh, yes. I was... How Go ahead. Where's the bridge between the two worlds? How does that happen? Well, interesting, because I was a benefits administrator for a school board. So I was involved in a lot of the uh, um, uh, the benefit renewal. And what I found was that, you know, uh, we had more people going off on disability. Uh, we didn't have much opportunity to get a reduction in, in the cost of disability. Um, but the interesting thing for medical and dental, you know, under the medical, in the overall process of the renewal, 80% of that renewal was, was derived from drugs, 80% of that. And, you know, a little bit for Parma Medicals, you know, which is your chiropractor, your, your RMTs, all that stuff. But I'm looking at that going, there's no way that, that I see that going down drugs. Mm -hmm. I never see it going down, mm -hmm. you know? And some shots were fifty thousand dollars or more. Wow, mm -hmm. yeah. it's crazy. There's no focus. Well, I mean, it's getting better now. I th I think I think it's starting to change where you can do like more holistic and more preventative. But mm -hmm. that's what a lot of benefits is, right? Wow. And we live in a country where we think we have free health care. Do we? It's interesting that you say that because. Um, for paramedicals, which I would fall under, because the government says that we're not regulated, mm -hmm. is that they're saying that, you know, um, we're not going to give you the emphasis that you deserve. And when I say emphasis is that, okay, we haven't paid enough money as an organization to be recognized, mm -hmm. but there are different, um, uh, re well, there's different research being done over time, but there's one specific piece that's being done right now that can change the game on reflexology, which mm -hmm. is by uh, a gentleman called Kevin Kuntz, which he is in the States and he is doing a, um, 
a comparative of before and after a reflexology uh, session. So he'll they'll go in and they'll see a subject that has had some issues on an MRI. They'll evaluate what's happening in the brain and then they'll have a session and then they'll reevaluate that patient after the session and they, they're seeing remarkable results after what has been done with reflexology. So wow. there are things that are coming down the line, but in terms of paramedicals, for us to be recognized, they're not doing that. They'll say an RMT can do a reflexology treatment because they are recognized, mm -hmm. but they're not necessarily, mostly, into uh, being certified as a reflexologist. RMT, just to ver like verify for people, that's massage therapist, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And, and that's the question we get as reflexologists. Are you covering under my benefits? Well, first of all, you've got to look at your benefit plan to see if you are. But again, there's that little small little piece that says, you know, if it's covered by a natural path or done by a natural path or a massage therapist, then we'll cover it. But if it's done by a certified reflexologist, eh, maybe not. Yeah, it's interesting how... Because, I mean, I've been there too, how we're all, we're put ourselves in this box as far as what's available to us and benefits does that big time. Mm -hmm. you know, it's not covered by benefits, I can't do it. But this is where if you want to, if you want better health, you have to look outside that box. You have to be willing to invest in yourself with your own money. Yeah. And I think more people are starting to get on that track and being open to that because they realize the, the power they hold to decide that they can be better. Absolutely. And and there's a quote by Thomas Fuller, which I absolutely love. Health is not valued until sickness comes. I mean, and, and that is so true uh, because I mean, just the people that I've seen on an emergency basis that come to me, uh, they can't walk coming into my home. Um, but then when they leave, totally a different perspective. Yeah, that right there, that's like the best testimonial anyone can have, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, as I say, it's 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 a journey and everybody has to find their way. But each one that everybody that I touch, there's never the same treatment because your body changes, your perspective changes, you know, everything changes. And uh, just to look at what's happening with the body. You know, it's just not, it's just not regulated in terms of these are the points that I have to hit. I will hit them, mm -hmm. but I will also go a little bit extra to make sure that I am giving the best treatment for each client that comes on uh, into my clinic. Amazing. I don't know what else. Um, is there well, anything, is there anything else that you think our listeners should know? Well, I think it's, it's, you know, the most important thing, and I think you, you ladies would agree is that, uh, when I talk about my initial reflexology assessment, I look at, you know, they say, well, why do I need that? I'm just coming for a foot massage. Well, it's not the way it works here. Um, for me, I don't know where you've been in your health and I don't know where you are now in your health. So for me, I need to get a little bit of a medical history here to understand what's going on. Because for me, if I don't understand you and you're coming to see me and I'm just giving you, as you think in your mind, possibly, and that I'm giving you a foot massage, then you're most mistaken because I'm here to help you move forward in your health journey, not regress you in your health journey. It's much, much deeper than just the surface of the hand, say, or the foot. Mm -hmm. Be deeper. And Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, it, it, as I say, I, you know, it's, I do connect energetically to some, you know, in my cosmos, but, you know, they'll forget to put things down on the initial uh, intake form. And I'll say, you know, does something doesn't seem like, you know, this is kind of happening over here. Does that resonate with you? And they'll either say yes or no. And then I, I had one particular client come in and I asked them, I said, oh, you got something going on here. And they were like, oh, 
Yeah, I forgot to put that down on the intake form. I thought, <laughs> wow, okay, I'm on the right track here then. Yeah, it actually shows as well how easily it is for us to forget what we're dealing with. We don't realize that there's a symptom. It's like, oh, right, that, that was happening last week or yesterday. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and you're just tapping into that for them. Mm -hmm. So amazing. We see that too. It's like when someone has on their forms, have you had any surgeries? No, I haven't had any surgeries. And they're like, <laughs> oh, but I got my gallbladder out. I'm like, did you do that <laughs> at home? <laughs> like, there was a surgery there. I'm like, oh, yeah, I forgot about that. And it's so, we just get caught up in life and everything that's going on and you don't think about these things right well, it's, very it's a disconnection from our bodies like i was talking about this earlier on my live we need to actually listen to our body connect in and our body is sending us messages all the time and a lot of the time we're not listening until it won't you can't you can't exactly. not listen basically yeah um, yeah you're you're absolutely so on track with that message uh i did watch it and i thought it was so well so well done Thank you. um it is it is absolutely uh critical to listen to your body because of the fact that it kind of knocks on your door with a, you, know, you know you're not feeling well a little bit that one day and then the next thing you know mm -hmm. you become an acute to a chronic and you because yeah. you didn't listen exactly exactly any final messages for uh, anyone that's listening today I just say, you know, really pay attention on what's going on with your health. It is so critical. And the reason why I say that now is because this is where you are today. Where are you going to be in the future? And if you're going to uh, have to continue to be on the uh, pharmaceutical stream, I'm not saying that, that that's not valid in some cases, but if you're going to go on to the pharmaceutical train, remember that it can impact you in retirement and where do you want to be in retirement so it's very important as we age that's a great uh great uh, message for people i think that's one i hadn't even thought of to be honest so that's a really good one to share with everyone uh thank you so much for being on with us we really loved having this conversation with you and finding out more about reflexology because I, I mean i knew a little bit but just to kind of go deeper with it and find out more about every aspect of your your foot or your hands has a meaning and a connection point it's really really cool uh, so we're going to post all your information in the show notes i do have your website here www.essenceofsoul s-o-l-e soul.com that's, right. that's correct yeah and uh, under your name for instagram is the best spot Yes, a sense of soul in Instagram as well. Yes. Okay, perfect. All right. Yes. Very good. We'll put that in the show notes. Uh, anything else you want to you want to say, Kate? No, this was fascinating. I was sitting here feeling my hand as you were saying, <laughs> like feel for the different spots. And this was, you know, I was someone who went to massage in the past, and she did reflexology on my feet, but it was like I didn't really have any understanding of why and what it was doing. So that was mm -hmm. really interesting of a share. So thank you for that. I hope people find a lot of value. And I love the story you shared about mm -hmm. the trip you were on and the people who had the different problems and how you were able to help them. So again, like Amanda said, thank you very much for joining us today. Uh, this was fascinating and well, wonderful to connect with you again. Well, thank, thank you. you guys for the opportunity. I hope that people take reflexology into consideration uh, when they're looking at their health. Fantastic. All right. Thanks everyone for listening today and we'll catch you on the next episode.